welcome or welcome back to the channel thanks for stopping by i hope you're good and welcome to my july wrap up and possibly a little update okay <laughs> so i i didn't read a lot okay we don't have a lot to talk about in this july wrap up and i'm gonna keep it pretty brief the first thing i'll do is tell you about run bitch run um i had five prompts i completed three so let's talk about the two that i didn't do i had a real world prompt of white on the cover originally i was going to read all for the game with emma and uh it was it was not the right time for either of us so i switched it out for given and i still didn't read it so that was annoying because i actually really wanted to continue given and i had it by my bed and everything and then just never picked it up and then probably one of the craziest things is that i had a sci-fi fantasy prompt of weapon on the cover which i could read blue exorcist for and i i didn't i didn't read that either and again it was by my bed and i just don't know why july was just not a good month okay so those were my fails let's talk about the things i actually managed to read so the three prompts that i completed we had a graphic novel and manga prompt of blue on the cover and i picked tokyo avengers and i did read this one go me this is without doubt one of the best volumes of tokyo avengers so far or best bind ups of tokyo avengers so far and maybe i'm like biased because there was a lot of um Suya content in this and i love him and i apologize if i'm not pronouncing that right i haven't watched the anime yet and that's normally where i kind of get the pronunciations to stay in my head um but i love him so much and this was a great couple of volumes for him and also this guy whose name is oh, i can't remember if i'm pronouncing this right hake that's probably terrible might be hacky i'm not sure but it was great for him like there was some really really fantastic moments obviously it was brilliant for takamichi too because he's always great in it and he's just like growing in every volume but yeah this was just such a good couple of volumes and yes there was action and there's always some really good action scenes in tokyo avengers but this one got me in the feels in my emotions this got me in the emotions so i had a great time with this i've talked about tokyo avengers so many times but just briefly we're following this guy called takamichi who was in like a biker gang when he was a teenager and um, fast forward to when he's in his adult years and his life is not really going anywhere and he's looking at the gang that has turned into these proper criminals like they're doing awful serious crimes and he doesn't understand how the people that he was friends with have turned into these awful people because they might have been a gang but they were just like delinquents they weren't like murderers what they are now and he sees on the news that his high school girlfriend has been killed by the gang it's one of those situations where he probably could have spent the rest of his life with her and it got kind of got messed up when they were younger so something happens and he's now able to go back in time and he's trying to prevent the people that he knew in the gang from turning into these awful people and also trying to save his girlfriend's life or his ex-girlfriend's life it's so good there's so much action so many like emotional moments and takamichi is just like this little crybaby hero and he's just trying his best um and it's really good i just love it so much so it's only well i just need to whack myself in the face with it we're on volume 12 in the bind up um i'm not sure how many there are to go but i think i've got past the point where i can watch the anime now so that is like high on my to-do list because i love this series so much okay the second prompt i actually managed to fill was to read a dark book a short read and for that i picked ring shout i think i'm gonna give this a four it's a solid four take avengers was a five it is a solid four so i wanted to love it more than i did and i'm not sure whether it's the book or whether it's me but it's still really good like four stars is still a really good rating just didn't quite hit five stars for me so it's based in the 1920s in america and it's about like these um three black women that you're following that hunt down uh ku Kluxes, which are part of the kkk but they're not strictly human um so it's kind of like uncovering all of that and there's monsters and um magic and i just feel like i didn't get the, ex the a proper explanation and when you're not familiar with the sort of magic in this because i think it's like is it pronounced gula or gulla oh my god i think it's pronounced gulla and there's a lot of kind of like hints at things but i wasn't familiar with them so it 
I didn't fully understand what we were talking about and I just got a little bit lost I got a little bit lost maybe I need another read through maybe I just tried to read it at the wrong time because my brain has not worked throughout the entire of July it has not worked I ended up listening to the audiobook because I found it was taking me a really long time to read each chapter I'm not really sure why because it's a very short book um, and I enjoyed the audiobook a lot more I just I don't know there was just something about it that I just found it really difficult to fully understand what was happening and I I do think that that is mostly because July had just there was no there was no brain power left um so I think I might try and give this a read another time I do still think it's a really really good book and it was very satisfying to see these three black women and also their surrounding I want to say team but not really team but like the people surrounding them standing up to the KKK very very satisfying and uh, yeah it was a lot more not gory maybe it was it was more that than I thought it was going to be so that was a plus because I love stuff like that because there's obviously something wrong with me but yes still think this is a very good read kind of want to read it again because I think it's more me than the book I think it was just the wrong time and then the last prompt I managed to fill was another dark book with GB on the cover for that I read the podcast book which was Sundial by Catrion Award and I gave this a 4.5 if I remember correctly I will leave the podcast linked above because we had a really good discussion about this it was so interesting like I don't know what I was expecting going into this book but it wasn't this <laughs> you know so it was it was definitely like more culty than I thought it was going to be but it's not a cult book but it has so many elements that make it culty that I really enjoyed because their childhood was very um unusual <laughs> they kind of lived on this estate in the desert and they didn't go to school they were just taught on the estate and they didn't really like associate with people outside of the estate in that kind of vein it's very cult-like and it was all kind of alternative and there was like science experiments and Oh, I do have to tell you though that there are so many like trigger warnings for this because we've got we're talking like I think Lisa put it in the podcast but we've, we've got like experimentation on animals we've got domestic abuse child abuse um the list goes on I think Lisa had like a very comprehensive list because we were digging things out one of the ones that it's probably not a trigger for everyone but there is miscarriage mentioned in this and it, I wasn't expecting it it did kind of like throw me uh very slightly for a little while but it didn't like it didn't take away from my enjoyment of the book but it did kind of throw me for a second because I wasn't expecting it and it was not exactly it didn't go into a lot of detail but it was still quite brutal how it happened so just you know bear those things in mind but once again Catherine Ward just has this amazing way of writing I absolutely love The Last House on Needless Street it's so hard to tell you what this story is about though you can probably tell that I'm kind of glossing over it and like I normally don't explain myself very well anyway but it's really difficult to explain this without reading it you kind of just have to experience it but basically we're following this woman called Rob who is in a incredibly toxic marriage like it, he is awful to her and it is like very controlled um, and one of her daughters starts to exhibit some quite troubling behavior and she wants to take her back to her home it, called Sundial in the Mojave Desert so that they can kind of spend some time together and then it's her revealing her childhood and all this stuff that happened and there's so much that I can't say but it was such a good read it was so so good me and Lisa really enjoyed this just couldn't quite hit five stars and I'm not even really sure why I can't give a definitive answer I just don't get that five star vibe from it it's more a 4.5 so it's like super close um but I am very excited to pick up something else by Catherine Award because so far we've got two hits a four and a half and a five and that is a really good start and then literally the only other thing that I read in the entire month was Vengeful for Schwabalong 
I didn't even get to Addy. I actually need to get to Addy at some point because I'm not even sure when the live show is, but I'm guessing soon. So this was a reread for me. It's the sequel to Vicious. So it's hard again to talk about. I mean, I'm I'm using a lot of excuses, but mostly I just, I'm not very good at talking about them <laughs> because my brain doesn't work. We may be in August, but it's still not fully here. Okay. This is the sequel to Vicious. So we're back in the world of Extraordinaries and we're following our friends from the first book <laughs> where things have changed and there's like things going on there. We're also following Marcella who is like a mob wife and obviously their paths will cross. I love this book so much. It was a five stars again on a reread and I feel like this gets not hate but like people always talk about how much they don't they prefer Vicious, like they don't like this one as much as Vicious, they don't like Marcella um, and they say that they have problems with it and I just don't get it because I think it is fantastic. I think it is so good. I think Marcella is one of my favourite characters because who doesn't love a strong woman out for revenge? We had a really good live show on this which I'll also link above um, but just know that I had forgotten how much I love the Vicious duology Pretty sure it's going to be a trilogy though. It feels like it's a trilogy and I think we're still getting that third book. I know it's been announced but I'll, whenever we get it I will devour it because I love this world, I love these characters and I just, rereading them reminded me how freaking good they are. So that's literally it. Um, this video recording is like 16 minutes but I had to restart things like three times because I still can't properly breathe or talk and I don't know what's going on so it's very very short so let me end by giving you just a little update of what's been going on there isn't really much that I can say not too much but it's been an incredibly stressful time at work and it's not over I thought it was going to be over that the kind of uncertainty that I'm going through would be done and there it would be clear but we're not quite there yet so we have another couple of weeks where it's going to be really really stressful I am on holiday the second week of that so I do just need to get through like one more week um and then hopefully things will be a bit clearer but it's been incredibly stressful I can't really go into any detail about it but that's basically why I tapped out of everything because there's been so much going on and I've been so stressed that I literally just can't think of anything else and that's another reason for me trying to push myself back into reading this month and why I'm so glad that there's so much manga on my TBR because that's what I need. What I've been doing instead of reading is watching anime um, to kind of like escape and I still want to do that but I want to do both because I miss the reading. I know it all sounds really really vague and it's not really so much an update as me just going yeah my life's really stressful <laughs> but I can't go into detail and I just don't want anyone to think that I have tapped out of the channel because I haven't absolutely have not it's just been like a triple whammy because I had a lot of stress with my mum because she was ill then I've all this stuff at work has kicked off and then I've been really ill and I'm still not right um I had this for like a week at this point, over a week at this point, and I, although I'm better than I was at the start, like I'm still not great and still feeling really tired and I'm not sure how much of that is work-related stress and how much is the illness and I think it's mostly just combined. I think I've got it this bad because I've been so stressed um, and my body was just like, do you know what, we can't do everything, you're just gonna have to accept the illness. <laughs> like, but I don't want it. <laughs> So although I no longer feel like I'm sliding into the bin, um, I still don't feel like great. I still got quite a lot of headaches and cough, uh, my chesty cough is still like lingering around and I don't know what August is going to look like because it's, it's going to get worse before it gets better I think stress wise but I'm kind of just trying to throw myself into stuff. Um, when I'm not at work so just to distract myself. So the plan for August. I'm hoping that I'll have a vlog for you. I'll definitely have a Bomber Book Club unboxing. And then I'm not sure. It might be that we only do like one video a week for a while. Um, I might need to take a couple of weeks off. I don't, I don't know. And this is the hardest thing about it is that I'm still kind of up in the air and until everything is resolved and the thing that's stressing me out is done, I don't no, 
but I really would like to just at least have one video a week. So that's kind of going to be my plan. Um, if I can do two, great. Uh, if I do two <laughs> and then something goes wrong and there's no video, that's just how it's going to be. So this is a very strange video. We've got a wrap up and then me going, I'm really stressed. <laughs> but I, I'm still here. I'm still making content. It's just going to be even more sporadic than usual and even more unplanned than usual. And that's okay. Hopefully by September, things will kind of get back to normal. I am really missing making content, but when you're not really reading and I've literally just been walking in from work and hiding, it, like going to bed and watching anime and I've just been no good to anyone and spent most of my weekends asleep because I've exhausted myself during the week. So when I would normally kind of do a lot of filming at the weekend in advance, it's not really happening. Although it is Saturday today and look at me filming. So hopefully we're turning a corner. We're just gonna have to wait and see. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I don't know what this video is and I apologise for it, but I just wanted to put something out there. Let's talk about the small amount that I did read and let's just have a chat about why I'm just a bit spacey. <laughs> Even more spacey than usual. I'm just not really here, but I'm, I'm trying to be. I'm not doing that thing anymore at the beginning of the year because every single year for like the last three years, I'm like, it's going to be a better year. And... And that's, I'm, I feel like I'm jinxing myself from literally January the 1st. So when January 1st, 2024 happens, if anybody hears those words coming out of my mouth, you have my permission to punch me in the face. <laughs> don't really, I bruise like a peach. <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Thank you so much if you managed to make it through this far of my rambling, well done. Uh, let me know in the comments below your favorite read of July or something that you kind of do to de-stress or if you just want me to know you're here that purple heart is always appreciated thank you guys so so much for watching i appreciate you a whole heckin ton if you're not already subscribed and you like seeing more bookish content from me remember to hit that button leave a like if you want to and i'll see you in the next one bye